Welcome back everybody. Another tricky question coming up in this video. So the vectors a and b have lengths 4 and 2 respectively. The vectors a plus 5b and 2a minus 3b are perpendicular. Now we have to determine the angle between vectors a and b. So in this question, first thing to note is that they told us that these two vectors a plus 5b and 2a minus 3b are perpendicular. So notice that these are actual vectors that are made of other vectors summed up together and multiplied by scalars. So these two brackets are two vectors, and if they're perpendicular, what does that mean? It means that the dot product between them is zero. And then what we can do is we can just FOIL this out. So we got 2 a dot a, and then we got minus 3 a dot b, and here we got uh, positive 10 a dot b, and then we got uh, minus 15 b dot b. That's equal to 0. Now, a dot a, we know that that is 2 magnitude of a squared. These two here are like terms. Negative 3 plus 10 is 7. That's going to be a dot b. And then minus 15. And then uh, b dot b is the magnitude of b squared. And this is all equaling 0. Now, notice how the magnitude of a we are given we're told that the vectors a and b have lengths 4 and 2 respectively. So that means uh, vector a has a magnitude of 4. And then magnet, our uh, vector b has a magnitude of 2. So 2 squared goes there. So 2 times 4 squared, 4 squared is 16 times 2 is 32 plus 7 a dot b, and then this is uh, 2 squared is 4 times 15 is uh, 60. This is a minus, so it's minus 60 equals 0. Continue this up here. So if we bring the 60 over, the negative 60 over becomes positive 60. Bring the 32 over becomes negative 32. 60 uh, minus 32 would give us, what, 28? So we would end up with 7 a dot b equals uh, 60 minus 32, which is 28. Then divide both sides by 7. So we got a dot b equals 4. Now, a lot of times, these types of questions will just ask for what the dot product between a and b is. It's equal to 4 in this case. But notice here, they're asking uh, the angle between a and b. Well, since we know the dot product between a and b is 4, we got the magnitudes of a and b. We can just plug it in to that dot product formula. So magnitude of a times magnitude of b times cos theta is equal to 4. Magnitude of a is 4. Magnitude of b is 2 cos theta we are solving for, so 4, this is 8, divide both sides by 8, so we'd have cos theta equals 4 divided by 8, which is 1 half. And when does cos theta equal 1 half? Well, when theta is equal to uh, 60 degrees, right? That's a special triangle, so 60, 30, we got um, root 3, 1, and 2. Cos of 60 is 1 over 2. So we know theta is 60. So that there is your final answer. That is the angle between vectors a and b. So you got to do some algebra. You got to find out what the dot product between a and b is. And then with the dot product formula, you could solve for that theta. You end up with 60 degrees.